mechanism of action of exenatide remember the mnemonic for exenatide yeah exenatide very good dr mohak shah the mnemonic is it increases it leads to the tide of insulin coming out from the pancreas right so basically it is increasing the insulin release tide of insulin right so which is the option which is telling you the release of insulin it is your option 4 itself now remember that next time if the option says release of insulin by blocking the potassium channel then what drug will it be release of insulin by blocking the potassium channel those drugs would be sulfonylureas but here release of insulin by acting as glp1 agonist right so remember that this is your exenatide option 1 inhibition of dpp4 is an enzyme which degrades your glp1 so this is basically your gliptins glp1 inhibitor gliptins glp1 ka inhibitor nahi degradation ka inhibitor that is gliptins inhibiting the intestinal absorption of carbohydrates what drug is that very good that is a carbose a carbose a matlab no carbohydrate matlab no carbohydrate absorption right and stimulation of ppar gamma what is your ppar gamma the tzds thiazolidine dions that is your rosiglitazone pioglitazones that basically is your glitter zones gamma is your glitter zones okay and remember ppar alpha drugs alpha is related to your fatty acids it's related to your fats and that is fibrates f for fats f for fibrates very good you remember that that's great so remember fibrates basically decrease your triglycerides they are used in hypertriglyceridemia another important point do you combine fibrates with your statins do we combine fibrates with statins no why should we not combine fibrates and statins together in a patient who has dyslipidemia because it will increase the myopathy caused by statins right it increases the uh, myopathy caused by statins okay so very very important even this is a fmg pyq that has been asked previously okay yes gamma is glucose alpha is your fat wala fibrate